Today we're in Avenue of the Giants. I've always wanted to come here. It did not disappoint. We are Janelle and Mike. We sold our house to travel full time. After huge health scares, we realized that life is too short to wait to do what you love, and we love to travel. The journey hasn't been easy. People above us having a full on fight, but we are having a great time along the way. And of course, our dog Kaya is coming on this wild ride too. This part of our journey begins at the Grandfather Tree, which is about 1,800 years old and is located on Highway 101, 17 miles north of the entrance to Avenue of the Giants. The gift shop located next to the tree is absolutely adorable and surprisingly affordable too. Avenue of the Giants is the famous scenic drive that goes through a magical redwood forest. It is lined by titan trees and is 31 miles long, offering a much better alternative to Highway 101. We are stopped on the side of the road. We are on the Avenue of the Giants. I've always wanted to come here and it did not disappoint. It is stunning. This is a really big one right here. There's nothing like redwoods. We have Kaya back here. What you doing? Those are quite the claws. What do you think? Pretty big trees, huh? This is a place we've both been looking forward to on this trip, and we can confirm it is well worth the visit. Some people choose to speed through the forest, but we took our time and soaked in all of the beauty around us. Even Kaya enjoyed exploring a bit of the forest too. dog is crazy. I think she would have just been a wilderness dog. She really wanted to get out of the car. I don't blame you. What else are you going to come back to the Redwoods, huh? You can't drive. It is absolutely beautiful out here. Thank you. 
And how was it? It wasn't that bad. See? I told you. I've been in far worse. Yeah. I do just have this overwhelming fear every time I'm in one of those that I'm going to drop something down the hole of eternal stench. That's why I don't bring my phone in there. It's probably a good call. So we have arrived in Eureka. We are actually staying in the outskirts of Eureka in the Arcata Airport area just because the downtown Eureka area didn't have good reviews and it just feels a little bit calmer out here. So I looked at the room. Basically it's back in this little courtyard area back here. We have been in the room for about 10 minutes. We still have all of our stuff that we just loaded in here. Janelle's over there cooking some food and Kaya clearly enjoys this room much more because she has found her pig and all is right with the world. The next day we headed out to explore the town of Eureka. Despite anything we may say negative later, an amazing aspect to Eureka is its stunning vintage architecture. You will see amazingly well-preserved Victorian-era buildings in both the downtown area and in certain neighborhoods. Eureka is also home to a vibrant arts and culture scene with galleries, theaters, and music venues throughout. We are looking at the Ingemore Club which is one of the famous places here in Eureka. The Ingemore Club is located at the Carson Mansion, which boasts a rich history dating back to 1885. William Carson came to Humboldt County to discover gold, but ended up finding his fortune in Redwood. And across the street is the Pink Lady. She's also really cool. The Pink Lady, now known as the Pink, was built in 1889 by William Carson as well. It was a wedding gift for his son and his wife. The home is a classic example of the Queen Anne architectural style. We also saw a few other gorgeous Victorian houses along the way. After exploring the town, we headed across the Samoa Bridge to Tolowat Island. The Wyatt tribe considers this island to be sacred to their people. It is the resting place for centuries of Wyatt ancestors and where other Native Americans of the area came for the World Renewal Dance. Then we made our way to the Redwood National and State Parks. We explored stunning back roads and even witnessed a herd of giant elk. What do you think of this? Redwood. What do you think of Redwoods National? <laughs> what do you think of Redwood mm. National Park? Uh, Redwood National Park is very pretty, but top tip: go through the Avenue of the Giants because it's prettier. Really is. I thought it was, but it could have been the day. There was more sun shining, less fog. Hi, friends. So we are in the. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about what we think of this area. When we were in Eureka, we were not super impressed. The nature is beautiful. I would say that the actual towns that we've been in so far have not been... Humans kind of ruin stuff. Let's just put it that way, okay? We're staying in Arcata. McKinleyville, I think. McKinleyville. That area is safe. It's nice. We're next to the airport. However, we would not recommend staying in old town eureka if you wanted to be if you wanted to feel safe let's just say that eureka is 98 percent per capita more dangerous than most of america so if that gives you an idea they definitely are dealing with a homeless issue aside from that 
Avenue of the Giants has been absolutely gorgeous. Um, today we went to Redwoods National Park and we saw some elk, which was amazing. We're in Trinidad right now. Doubt you've heard of Trinidad. Me either, till today. But here it is. <laughs> and go to his drone shots. <laughs> I'm not sure how we always push it to the very last second. Well, just because it's 104 and checkout time was 1 o'clock, <laughs> the last second. That's four seconds late, or four, four minutes late. Mm -hmm. So we just checked out of the Hilton, no, Holiday Inn. Um, they're all running together at this point. The Holiday Inn Express in Mackenzieville. We try to stay in IHG or Hilton hotels, and this was an IHG hotel. Now we're heading to Reading, which is I think three hours away, and we're staying at a home two suites there for three nights. It was very expensive to stay in Reading. We are only staying for a few days. It's a little more difficult. We've been like hopping around from place to place, but we do prefer to stay places a little bit longer just because it's easier on us, easier on Mike's job. We're just trying to see the areas before we leave because we don't know the next time we're going to be in these areas, so we didn't want to just skip over all of them. It'll be interesting to see what Reading is like. I haven't been back to Reading for eight years. There's your update. See you later. On the next episode of It's Time to Run, we make a stop in Reading before heading to Oregon. It will be sad to leave California, and we have seen the good and the bad. <laughs> now our time in California is done. Let's move it. Let's get yeah. on going. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like and be sure to subscribe because it helps us continue to make these videos. What's that? Why? went too slow and I filmed it in 60 so there's no nothing usable about that. Can yeah, so you almost run over my foot. You know, move out of the way lady. Wow. Move or lose it. Kaya. Hello. Hello. What you doing? Come here. Stop going. Kaya, what are you doing? Excuse me. What do you think, your foot wilderness dog now? It's Bigfoot. <laughs> See you next time.